Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Thursday of the 23rd week of Ordinary Time. It is September the 8th, the feast day in the church today of the Nativity of our Blessed Mother. So, happy birthday to Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth. Now, as with most things from ancient times, dates have been assigned to them that make sense for, you know, uh, just where it would fit in, in a calendar. Not No one knows exactly when the Blessed Mother was born. You know, there were no, uh, <laughs> none of these back then where we keep track of, uh, of all of that, but uh, we celebrate this feast nine months after we celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, so that it makes sense, you know, in a uh, timeline uh, frame. You know, a lot of people too, they, they, they look at Christmas, right? The, the day we celebrate the birth of our Lord. And there's, you know, people argue that, well, it couldn't have been winter time because the shepherds wouldn't have been out at night and so on and so on. And, you know, that's of little or no consequence. We assign a date, the church assigns a date that we celebrate a, a historical event. Jesus was born. What day? What month? You know, the records weren't, uh, you know, kept like that back in those days, so we, we don't really know. But, but uh, uh, dates were assigned to them so that we could commemorate, you know, these, these happenings, these events, these real historic events. And so dates and, you know, were, were assigned to each one. So today is the date that, uh, and it falls nine months after the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, the birth of our Blessed Mother today. So, you know, uh, precise day and date, month, uh, that doesn't, you know, in the grand scheme of things, does it matter? Does it matter? It has no bearing on the fact that it did happen whenever it happened, and we need to celebrate it. Uh, when Mary prayed after Gabriel visitor, visited her, she said, you know, that, uh, that we pray this prayer here in a little while in our evening prayer. All ages will call me blessed. Uh, we remember our Blessed Mother every day, you know, and, and we celebrate the, her nativity, her birthday uh, on this date, and uh, as well we should. This is uh, a historic an important event. This is the woman that God preordained to be the mother of his son. The first tabernacle, you know, the new Ark of the Covenant, the presence of God when he first took human form was within the womb of this blessed lady. And so, you know, the her life, you know, was mapped out by God so that she would be a worthy vessel, and a worthy mother to the Son of God. So today, you know, we just say happy birthday, Mom, and enjoy the fact that she is now interceding for us as she always has, pointing us towards her son helping us find our way to him, keeping us tuned in to our prayer lives, our lives of, of sacrifice and fasting. Uh, our Blessed Mother is a great role model and always serves as a reminder to us of what we're supposed to be doing. Mary, from the moment of the conception of Jesus in her womb, you know, became for us uh, a model human 
teaching us how we can live. You know, if we if we turn away from sin and we we obey, you know, we listen to God and, and let His His wisdom guide our every day's activities like she did, then we're going to be doing okay. We're going to be uh, living the right life and and staying on track for eternal uh, paradise where we will be joined. We'll join her and join her son Jesus and all the angels and saints. And, and uh, you know, it's something to look forward to. You know, the sting of death is just a... Uh, a human condition but the passing from this life to the next where we'll be joined you know we'll join up with our blessed mother and with all the the heavenly hosts it's just something something that you know if if our, we truly have faith then it should be something we anticipate with great joy and look forward to this next step in our our lives, our eternal step into paradise with our Lord. So happy birthday, Mary. Happy birthday, our Blessed Mother. And uh, we thank you for all the hard work you continue to do for all of us. You've been very busy throughout history, you know, coming back and visiting with various people here and guiding us and warning us and chastising us and just being an inspiration for all of us to keep our hope and our faith strong. You know, so just celebrate. Celebrate the birthday today of our Blessed Mother who is just such an awesome, awesome role model for all of us. We don't have to be women mothers to be affected by her lifestyle. Of course, yes, she is that very in a very special way to all our ladies out there. But even to us craggly old men, our Blessed Mother is an inspiration and a lovely role model even for, for us. So we thank you Blessed Mother, we thank you, God, for giving her to us. Behold your mother, you said from the cross, and, you know, we uh, embrace that as we embrace her. We love her, we honor her, and we give her thanks as she always points us to you. Let us pray your evening prayer and thanksgiving for the gifts, the many gifts of our Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Virgin Mary came forth from the root of Jesse, and the Spirit of the Most High came to dwell in her heart. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray. Peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. When you rose from the dead, Lord Jesus, you formed the church into your new body and made of it the new Jerusalem, united in your spirit. Give us peace in our day. Make all nations come to your church to share in your gifts and fellowship 
that they may render you thanks without end and come to your eternal city. The Virgin Mary came forth from the root of Jesse, and the Spirit of the Most High came to dwell in her heart. Today we commemorate the birth of the Virgin Mary. God saw her beauty and visited her in her lowliness. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest, you who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly, sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb, indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. O oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. You command the seed to rise, Lord God, though the farmer is unaware. Grant that those who labor for you may trust not in their own work, but in your help. Remembering that the land is brought to flower, not with human tears, but with those of your Son. May the church rely only upon your gifts. Today we commemorate the birth of the Virgin Mary. God saw her beauty and visited her in her lowliness. Blessed and worthy of our praise is the Holy, Holy Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. We celebrate her birth that she might intercede for us before the Lord. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed and worthy of our praise is the Holy Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. We celebrate her birth, that she might intercede for us before the Lord. A reading from St. Paul's letter. To the Romans, to the Israelites belonged the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the law-giving, the worship, the worship and the promise. Theirs were the patriarchs, and from them came the Messiah. I speak of his human origins. Blessed forever be God who is over all. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. The Lord is with you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you.
let us commemorate the illustrious birth of the glorious Virgin Mary. For the Lord has looked with favor on his lowly servant. He sent his angel to announce to her that she would conceive the Savior of the world. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. Sorry, my computer's been, not my computer, but my phone has been acting up here. Keep going dark. Anyway, we'll start over with the uh, Magnificat prayer. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy promise he made to our Father, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us commemorate the illustrious birth of the glorious Virgin Mary. For the Lord has looked with favor on his lowly servant. He sent his angel to announce to her that she would conceive the Savior of the world. Let us pray, God our Almighty Father, who wished that Mary, his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. Now, in need, we ask. Hail, full of grace, intercede for us. O God, worker of miracles, O God, worker of miracles, this, I'm sorry. O God, worker of miracles, you made the Immaculate Virgin Mary share body and soul in your Son's glory in heaven. Direct the hearts of your children to that same glory. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You made Mary our mother. Through her intercession, grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men the joyful abundance of your grace. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Make your church of one mind and one heart in love and help all those who believe in to be one in prayer with Mary, all those who believe to be one in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus, Mary full of grace, intercede for us. You crowned Mary queen of heaven. May all the dead rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. Mary full of grace, intercede for us. Let us praise God, our almighty father, who wished that Mary, his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. Now in need we call Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You made Mary the mother of mercy. May all who are faced with trials feel her motherly love. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. 
He wished Mary to be the mother of the family and throne of Jesus and Joseph. May all mothers of families foster love and holiness through her intercession. Mary, Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You gave Mary strength at the foot of the cross and filled her with joy at the resurrection of your son. Lighten the hardships of those who are burdened and deep with, deepen their sense of hope. May grace's life be. May Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You made Mary open to your word and faithful as your servant. Through her intercession, make us servants and true followers of your Son. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. You crowned Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the dead rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us remember us lord when you come to your kingdom teach us how to pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh, one more prayer. Father of mercy, give your people help and strength from heaven. The birth of the Virgin Mary's Son was the dawn of our salvation. May this celebration of her birthday bring us closer to lasting peace. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Ah, my goodness. Oh, my battery's dead. <laughs> May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I put my phone on the charger and make sure it's charged for tomorrow. God bless you all. See you then. <laughs>